Okay, so Fred finally made a decision. He chose the electric ice maker. He chose it in green, one that would serve 800 people, one that had a freezer unit thing uh, to attach to it, and he chose for it to be delivered. So we have one, one, two, three, four, five elements, and this was his pick. And the price tag on what he chose, the one with the electric model, the green one, uh, it had a metal finish, served 800 people, and it came with its own refrigeration set, was $500. But he only had 400 from the on horarium that he was given. But the salesperson says, guess what? It's on sale. So on sale, it was instead of being $500, it was on sale for half Oh, sorry, I gave you the wrong answer. It's $300. It's half price. So how would we find out how much $300 is? We write 300. We divide it by 2 because half of something divides it into two parts. So we have two parts into 300. So let's see what that does. We have $300 divided by 2. We have two that will go into three. Oh, it's not going to go that many times. Why did I do that? Okay, let me try again. $300 divided by two. Two goes into three once. And we have one. We bring that over here. And we have two into ten is five. Oh, sorry, I wrote that in the wrong place. 2 goes into 10 5 times, and that's 10, so that's a 0, and that's a 0, so our ants, we put that up there, and on sale half price, it's $150. He started with $400, and now he has spent $150, and so how much does he have left? Let's see. He has, we have to take away the 3, put the 1 there, 5 from 10 is 5, and 1 from 3 is 2. Let's check out our answer. That would be 0, 0, 0, that would be 10, carry that, that would be 40, so our answer checks out. So now Fred has $250 left. So, Fred now had $250 left, but Alexander and Betty were like, is he actually going to eat any ice cream if we buy the ice cream? Now, Fred knew that the ice cream wouldn't make any ice cream unless he had the ingredients. So, he says to the salesman, yeah, this is Fred. Isn't he cute? Uh... Do you uh, have the stuff? Do you know what stuff you stick in the machine? Because the machine, what are you going to do with it if you don't have the ingredients? The salesman says he has a recipe book that sells for $6. So Fred buys the recipe book and he's going to have $250 minus the six dollars for the recipe book and now he has how much how much do you think he has left he'll have two hundred and forty four dollars left so he opens to the very first chapter and the first chapter oh you'll have to guess what this is okay First chapter. Oh, you know what that is? It's a cow. Yep.
It's a cow. And so Fred says, I need to buy a cow. Really? Do you think he really does? Nope. Alexander's like, what? And Fred shows him. He proffers, proffered Alexander the recipe book. Do you know what proffered means? It means to offer something hoping they accept it. So he proffered the recipe book to Alex. And in fact, Alex took it. And Alex looks in, in, at the book and says, do you know when this book was written? Oop, I don't know what I'm doing there. This book was written in 1843 when people lived on farms. Oop. That's where Jordan wants to live. Okay, and they had lots of cows and no electricity. Nope. Okay, so the recipe book would be different, but Fred wants to know how did they get ice if they had no refrigerators? Because don't you need an ice machine or a freezer? Alexander points to chapter 2. Chapter 2. Chapter 2 says, so Alexander points to chapter 2 and says, in Kansas, when it's winter, there is no problem finding ice. Just walk outside. In the winter, they chop up ice from the lake, and then they put them in an ice house. And they store them, and then they will have ice in the summer. It's hard to believe that ice would last that long in the summer being stored in an ice house. Right? Betty says about this time, it's 2.30, and you have to present your speech in an hour and a half. So that would be one hour and 30 minutes. Let's go to the grocery store and buy the stuff that you need. This isn't 1843, no. The grocery store was at the east end of, was east of King Kitten Place, okay, where the ice cream was. They had to walk five minutes to a place 